Hey guys, Tano here with another Crossing Void video. Like many of you, I'm really excited for this battle because you know, at least. Okay, so I've been playing very casually with the very little spare time I have from making videos. Okay, most of the time actually spent editing, but also a lot of time wasted from being distracted all the time. All right, so let's get inside the game. Dear Void Agent, I always cannot finish reading that part. Okay, the train is coming. Alright, so I <laughs> it took me actually quite a while, I'm ashamed to actually put Asuna on the home page instead of what's her name? Uh Makito? I have no idea what's her name, but okay. So anyway, let's head over to my characters. I just wanna have a quick update with you guys. So from the last video, I actually put I think about 11 summons or something like that. Okay, so this is all I have. Okay, I've not done anything else except play the story mode just to try to get some gems. Okay, I was actually contemplating to actually start playing today when Ellie's banner drops, but I realized that actually it's really pointless because the resource needed to summon Alice was actually gems that I need to earn really really hard for which I managed to do it just before I do this video. I mean I went out the way to actually gather all the gems to put together for this video to actually summon so I actually just you know just busy getting all those gems from everywhere that I can see you know like events story and etc etc okay so this is my team I kind of level some of them up I don't really know who's good who's not uh, i'm pretty sure asuna is good uh, i'm not sure about boogie pop this is my first s rank character then the rest is like uh a rank okay so i think kirino is pretty good asuna is pretty good so far i did kind of put up a tank dps healer group but i realized maybe i don't really need it anyways but you know i'll just try okay so anyway to be honest i did not have much time to actually read up on the game to understand it better which i hope i will in the future so forgive me in advance for my ignorance in this game a man just want to have fun and relax in a gacha game you know just you know gather some waifus and whatnot if i have some spare time from making digimon rearise videos then maybe i will do some homework and hopefully make some useful videos and whatnot okay i don't intend to play for that long but hey let's enjoy this game while we're at it right okay so right now let's let's head over to the summon okay so right now <laughs> oh alice okay so this is uh the free pose i'm i don't know if i'm gonna play long i'm definitely gonna get this because it's a really good value ten dollars for a guaranteed s rank i don't know if all gacha have this deal I'm pretty sure everyone will get this. I mean, come on, Bandai Namco. The gems in this game is so much cheaper. And I would do it in a heartbeat to just buy all this like a dollar, two dollar, ten dollars, like a couple of dollars, like a monthly pack or something like that. I'll do it. But Bandai Namco, your games are too expensive. I don't know. I, I, I want to support the game, but... Uh, nah, I don't know. You just gotta bring value to the people, man. Okay, so anyway, let's start with the free summon right over here. So, I don't know, maybe who knows. I make a video and I get Asuna right off the bat. It's a free summon. Okay, so... Nope, okay. So, I got Alicia. Okay, I really like her design. Very... Uh, although she's not a maid, but she looks very maid-ish. So I have this free pool that I've been waiting to summon on this video and also 9 more tickets. So a total of 10 pools. Okay, so 9. Okay, I don't expect much because uh, right now it's 1.79 so it increases 0 0.02 every time you do it. So A is guaranteed within 6 pools. Okay, let's try 6 and then we do 3. Okay, I don't think it makes much difference but... Let's just do it with the loading screen. And I thought Digimon Re Arise loading was bad. And here you have it again. I don't know, it's 2019, but what's with all these gacha games with their loading times, right? Alright, give it a twist. Oh, S rank! Okay. I got Kuroko. So, most likely, I'm gonna use her. Replace, I don't know, one of the characters or something like that. One more, okay. Rentaro. I got an epic. Okay, it's an A rank, but. This purple is just kind of like epic, right? Okay, so it's pretty good. One S rank and one A rank. Okay. And the probability is going up. Okay, so every time you don't get the banner unit, the, the rates just goes, goes up, oh, which is really good. It's not like uh, you get an S rank and then it reset. So, yep, okay. So let's just keep going. 
three more tickets. I don't know, maybe I should just do it one by one. But okay, just do it for the video. Let's just save some time, right? Uh, okay, I got a heal for this guy. What's his name? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's a her. Okay, she's the tank. Okay, I was using her. So, no dice. No luck, uh, bummer. And right now, let's head over to Alice Banner. Okay, let's move on to the limited gacha summon. Okay, mean Alice details. Okay, the 13th integrity knight, the same person as Alice Zuckerberg. Okay, Zuba, Yuji's childhood friend. Yet she has lost her childhood memories. Okay, I actually watched to a point that, you know, halfway through the story, but I'm not gonna spoil it. So the game is probably gonna spoil it for you anyways. And okay, so these are her skills. Knight's attack, adopts attack, stands and deals. Physical, I, I wish they show her actually here than just her shadow. Okay, deal physical damage to all enemies. So she's kind of like AOE. Grants Osmentus Blossoming buff. After this skill is used, skill 1 will be replaced by Osmental Dance. You they never tell you what's Osmental Dance. Okay, it's okay. Next, we have Osmentus Guard. Manipulates golden petals to form a huge shield. Okay, so she's a... It's a tank, night tank, okay? And adopts guard stance and gains shield and osmentus blossoming. No, they, they don't show it. I don't know why, but they don't show it. Buff. After this skill is used, skill 1 will be replaced by knight's attack. Petal swirl. Deals physical damage and arcane damage across all enemies. So both damage. Okay, so she's kind of like an omni damage character. Each attack of osmentus blossoming reduces the cost of this skill. So it needs... 16 climax point wow okay so these are all the rest of the skills okay and across skill with irito and what's her name i forgot i just pulled Yo, her I but i forgot her name okay nice. deals physical damage alicia yeah i think it's alicia right if i'm not wrong okay deals physical damage to front enemy okay she does front enemy uh, with kirito also gains above the increased attack but reduces defense for several turns so the defense is it your own or I don't know. Uh, walk around. Probably you just need a uh, purify. Yeah, you probably just need a. Uh, you need to purify your team after using this. Country bumpkins in action. Okay. Country bumpkins. Deal damage across all enemies also increases their damage taken for several turns. Okay, that sounds pretty good. If you hear the grenade sing, Hallelujah. You must be imagining things. Hey, that's the holy grenade from worms, guys. Okay. Wait. Okay, once again, wooden swords prove to be the most powerful. Hey, wooden swords. Okay, Chrono Trigger had the wooden sword thingy, okay, but maybe the other games has as well. Osmentus Knight, okay, exclusive talent. Alice damage deal increases when her oh, HP know, is high. Is. Alice damage taken reduces when her HP is low. Okay, it's kind of versatile. Uh, I kind of like it. It works. And uh, this is a color scheme. Okay, this looks kind of like Elsa. That is just the pure blue version, white blue version. Okay, and this is just... No comments. Okay. Let's do it. See? 1,500. Just nice for the guaranteed A. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Reform! No, there's no reform here, so... You, you get what you see, so... No! Do it! Oh, what's this? Tomoka? Okay, I... Obviously, I've not watched any of these anime, so... I can't find that this type of art style doesn't suit my taste. I don't really like it, but um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you like it anyways. Okay. Ooh! Another S rank, okay, but he's a support, okay. Shizu, okay. Come on, Alice. Nah, okay. Shana is a A. Okay, I'm just gonna use her probably, since I heard good things about her. And that's it, guys! No! I think that's it, okay. So, uh... I got a really nice uh, support character. Okay, Sh Shizu, F damage. And I got a A, Shana, right here. So I got a pretty nice new addition that I can work on. Uh, also, her main, okay. So I'm not really sure what's her purpose, but yeah. So I spent some Maigo and 81 more draws to go. I don't think I can make it, but hopefully I'll get her before her banner ends in night like 9 days. I'm pretty sure I can get something somewhere, you know. And she's falling! Okay, so... It's lagging again. Okay, so this is what I have right now. I'm probably gonna replace them, man. Like, um, probably gonna start using Kuroko. Let's just set up my team right now with all the S rank characters, okay? So, first up the bat, we have Kuroko. Uh, I'm not sure who to replace. Oh, Kuroko, just nice. Okay, so he's gonna, he's gonna come here. Um, uh, I have Shana. Automatic. Okay, Shana. There's a support role. 
Frost unlocked World Order Protector. Deals physical damage equals to 250% damage attack and arcane damage equals to 194% attack across all enemies. Also, remove two buff. Oh, that's nice. Remove two buff. Okay. Every one more Star of Cross character will increase physical damage by 5% and arcane damage by 3.9%. Friendly guess. So this support character, what does she do? What does she bring? Let's look at her skills. Okay, so her main skill does use a Sekaro to direct mana power underground, dealing physical damage to 67% arcane damage. Okay, so it's just it's just damage. Okay. What about Shana? Actually, I don't know what's her skill, so I'm just gonna check it out. What's so good about Shana? Okay, A Bleed. Unleashes a fire wave towards all enemies, dealing physical damage equals to, okay, and arcane damage. Okay, so physical and arcane damage. So total of 268, about 169. Also inflicts Bleed, dealing almost 30% attack as damage per turn over two turns. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. And her ulti, Kesen Ogi, identifies the location of enemy and conjures a giant fire blade, dealing physical damage. Damage, okay, and arcane damage across all enemies also inflicts bleed. Okay, that's pretty cool. So she's really keep bleeding, I guess. Crimson launches consecutive swirling, twir swirling strikes in the air and follows up, dealing physical damage and arcane damage. Okay, so she does both types of damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. Probably gonna use her and together with her. And then I kind of want to have like healer ish, but I don't know. Maybe not. Does she have heal? Okay, she, she doesn't. Oh no, I just want to see what she has. Okay, so Tomoka, he has a Protect Allies. Oh, so she's a buffer. Provides all buff that increase damage. Oh, okay. And Regen. Wow, she's such a good support character though. Launches fireworks to bring happiness, recover. Okay, okay. I kind of want to have her in my team. Okay, increase defense, uh, heal. Wait, is that Regen? Okay, yeah, it's a Regen. And also a 45% damage buff okay so that's her ult okay, she seems kind of nice to have okay. oh and her support is this happy cleanup clean <laughs> clean up tidy clean up sweeps all enemy dealing physical damage okay everyone more star across character will increase damage physical damage by 6.78 percent okay. okay this lineup looks pretty good but what about him? He goes well with this bro. Vending Machine Killer! When two vending machine killers from Academy City and Ikebukuro move together, not only vending machines will suffer, deals physical damage and attack damage. Da, da, da. Okay, also reduces their healing received by 55%. Oh! Every one more Star of Cross characters will increase physical damage by da da da. Okay, okay that's pretty cool. So, two. Wait, no. Okay, let's unlock this. Arc Rival, okay. Isaya. I, I like him, he's, he's the voice actor for Jotaro, okay. Deals physical damage equals to da -da -da. across all enemies, increase the damage re taken, okay, reduce damage taken. Everyone more of, okay, increase damage and, okay, equal effect. But, I need Kuroko. And I want Shana, and she matches with her, and I got Asuna. But I don't know, maybe I should replace her with something else. Okay, so that's it, guys. I'm just gonna keep this team, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing and see how it goes, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this summoning video. Uh, I just gonna explore the game more, understand a little bit better, so that, you know, I can play better also. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment right down below. Have you actually gotten Alice? I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already gotten her. And also with S rank Asuna. Since you guys played probably a couple of days ahead of me. But it's okay. I'm just gonna try to, you know, do it on my own pace while playing Digimon Rearise. Right? It's like two games now. So I'm gonna juggle around. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.